Hi, my name is Isela Montes, and this is For Who the Bell Like Tolls by Karen Hess. Professor Nelson? Hi, do you have a moment? Um, I just got my paper back and I was a little upset. Cindy DeVero, English 101, your 8.30 class. Um, all semester. Well, actually, I missed a couple of classes last year because I had like this really bad sinus infection thing and back at the class usually, I'm running a little late. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Pierce Navel! That's me! Anyway, do you have a moment? Thanks. So like I said, I got my paper back and it was surprising and I thought that that oh, I just had it here. I thought that I had actually been doing pretty well, and um, that was gosh, I just had it. And uh, sorry, it's kind of a mess. I went out for a coffee afterwards, and my latte was a little high. Christian myth and the old man of the sea. D plus. That was what really kind of got me, Professor Nelson. It just seemed kind of low. And I was even thinking about, you know, becoming an English major. And um, so it wasn't really ideal. <laughs> and you would have no way of knowing this, Professor Nelson, but I like to read. And I write poetry and songs sometimes. I even got offered to do like this coffee house thing. I was going to tell you about it. It could even be like a field trip thing. So. English would be kind of perfect. And then this D kind of dashed it. I'm not saying it's a perfect paper, but I handed it in to my roommate Sylvia before turning in, and her father's a professor at Brandis. And she said that he said he wouldn't give it anything less than a B plus. She said that he said that it was that he would think it was that good. Well I know, but it meant a lot that she had said that because she's pretty smart and all and, and I know that people probably have different opinions of papers so that's why I came to you. Hmm? Yeah, of course I read it. I really liked it. I mean, honestly, honestly, I didn't get through the whole thing. Page 52. Well, I planned to read it over the break and I meant to but I just got kind of jammed with other things and didn't get through it all but there was this guy in my hall he read it in high school and he told me all about it so i like totally totally knew it well well i know it's not a substitute for actually reading it that's why i wouldn't give it an a not even an a minus even what uh h-e-m-i-n-g-w-a-y didn't i spell that right it's wrong Oh, um, E-R-N-E-S-T? That's wrong too? Well, I had it that way, but then the spell checker thingy said that it was wrong. And Hemingway wasn't even in the dictionary, if you want to know. Okay, so wait, what about like the body of the paragraph? Like right here, these are my own actual words. Can you tell? Oh. What do you mean by run on? Run on? Uh-huh. Oh. Well, did you specifically tell us that we couldn't use those? Oh, well, if you didn't specifically tell us that we couldn't use those, then how was I supposed to know? I was just, like, collecting ideas here. I didn't know we were going to be graded on the actual writing part of it. That wasn't really clear to me, Professor Nelson, and I bet... Okay. okay. What else? Mm -hmm. He dies? Oh my god! Are you sure? But that's not what the guy told me. No, he said that the old man cooked a fish over an, over an open flame with a bunch of his friends. That's where I got my whole Last Supper idea thing from. That's my whole theme! Oh my gosh! I can't believe that guy lied to me. 
Don't you think he should be brought on some honor code charges or something? Lying to me like that? I mean, here I get a D plus and he gets off scot-free. Well, I know that I would, well, I know that I should have read it and in a perfect world, I would have, but that's actually kind of a stupid ending. I'm just telling you how I feel, Professor Nelson, and I know a lot of people would agree with me. Well, it's an okay ending for older people, but okay, sorry. Do you know what's really upsetting, Professor Nelson? Here I am, like this freshman, trying to go through college and it's a real adjustment. I have so many things that going on that you don't even know about and I gotta tell you, I don't think very much of the school, Professor Nelson. I mean, my father is paying like $25,000 a year just to send me here and I haven't learned a thing. I had this really great job at The Limited this past summer, and I could have stayed there and done that and had some money, but instead, I come here because I want to learn and to grow, and because people said that I had potential, and if I could just get my act together... <sighs> my father will kill me if I get a D in this class. I promised him that after high school, no more Ds. Maybe... I could, if I could just do like an extra credit project or something like sing some of my songs or read some poetry, that would be good. I was kind of hoping for my English grade to bring up my cum and well... So do you think there's any way you'll change my grade? What? <laughs> Why not? Even if I came to you? Well, I'm sorry, Professor Nelson, but what is the point of having office hours if you're not going to change the student's grade? What? You can't do that! When I said change my grade, I didn't mean lower it. That is total bogus. You know, I wasn't going to say anything before Professor Nelson, but I have to tell you, nobody really thinks very much of your class. Nobody. Everybody says it's boring as crap and that you should be turned out to pass her. I don't know what you're getting so snotty at me for, Professor Nelson. It is not my fault that your class is boring. <laughs> if this is the way that you treat conscientious students, I would really hate to see how you treat the slackers. Just see if I can buy and get help from you again.